Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am introducing to you a new course that is named as Shopify Liquid course. In this video, I'll show you few description and Shopify Liquid coding without further ado. Let's get started. Before that, you have to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. And I hope this channel will be super with me. So I have opened my Visual Studio Code Editor and you can see a file named as introduction.liquid and this is the Shopify file extension .liquid. You can see a sentence this is a introduction video of Shopify Liquid course and this is within double curly brace. And after that you can see uh, another line and that is opened with curly brace but with past sentence and here is a keyword named assign uh, normally we do assign variables in javascript and that's the same thing in short file liquid you can assign variables uh, this is identifier on your variable name uh, this is a string because it is in double quotation and after that uh, we have used percentage and curly braces to in that line then you can see first sentence if uh, this is the if condition of short file liquid if you use condition you have to in that condition so i have in that condition here use the int before if so if you use if you have to use in if if you use for loop you have to in that for loop if you use switch case for that case you have to use case and in case so if you use any logics in Shopify liquid you have to in that logic that's like an starting tag and closing tag in HTML that's the same thing in Shopify liquid you have if you open any condition you have to in that or you have use follows you have to uh, in that follow -off. that's all in Shopify liquid uh, you have an easy process in Shopify liquid to modify your output that is the symbol named as pipe you can use many filters in Shopify liquid and this will easy your process to modify things in Shopify backend so you can use upcase this is the same as to uppercase in JavaScript you can use downcase you can use Shopify money filter to show money value you can use Shopify money with currency without currency money trailing zero and many more filters you will get in Shopify so that's all the simple basic structure of Shopify liquid you can use double curly braces to show output you can use percentage uh, you can use curly brace and percentage to use any logics in Shopify and you can use pipe to filtering any output of Shopify if you understand this three symbol you can understand the liquid very well as I am developing this course only for the Shopify theme developers so if you are new to this platform so you have to learn HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, ES6 then you go for this course Shopify Liquid without learning HTML5, CSS3 and JavaScript, ES6 you can quit this course first learn those things and then come to my course you should have a code editor I use VS code editor uh, you can learn git and github because uh, now Shopify online is 2.0 and they have default theme of dawn and it is connected with github and it's easier to use Shopify CLI with github uh, you must learn jQuery because most of the previous theme are using jQuery plugins you should have a solid understanding of one of the CSS framework, Taylor and CS or Bootstrap. It's good to understand Bootstrap for responsive design and make your theme much more flexible. And you should understand one of the JavaScript framework. Uh, I prefer React uh, because uh, in future the hydrogen project will be released on Shopify and this is based on React. You can learn GraphQL, but this is an advanced thing in Shopify theme developing. You should have solid understanding of HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, ES6. 
liquid and then you are good to go but other things are better for you to making a theme sellable that's all for this video i hope this video was informative to you please subscribe to my channel and stay connected if you have any question please let me know in the comment section i'll reply to you as soon as possible thanks for watching this video see you in the next video